Hello Year 9, my name is Miss Scales and I'm the Head of Health and Social Care here at Farlingay. Just wanted to take some time to come and talk to you about the subject to try and help you make a decision about if it's an option for you next year. So the course we offer here is a BTEC course. This means it is different to GCSEs. BTEC courses have different ways of being assessed and are also graded differently. The assessments are both an exam in the February of Year 11 and coursework units. These coursework units are made up of assignments that you complete across the two years. This means that any homework that you are doing over the whole course counts towards your grade at the end of the two years. Over the whole course, there are three different units. Each of those units are individually graded, but they are just as important as each one adds up to your final overall grade at the end of the qualification. So what are those three units? The first one you do in year 10 is human lifespan development. The sorts of questions that we think about is how do we grow and develop through our lifetime? What are those milestones? What skills are you developing at different ages in your life? What life events and experiences will change how you grow as a person? What are those things that make us our own individual person? What makes you different than somebody else the same age? This unit is assessed through a piece of coursework, which involves using questionnaires and interviews of different people, and then writing a report about their pattern of development and the life events that have impacted on them growing and developing into the person they are today. The next unit is health and social care values. Typical things we think about with this one is what is good care of somebody else? Is good care always easy to provide? And how can you show compassion and respect whilst caring for someone? If someone usually needs a higher level of care, they can typically be a little bit vulnerable. So being able to show compassion and respect to that person can be of an utmost importance to their well-being. This unit is again assessed through coursework. We use case studies of two different people and suggest ways of treating them that will improve their life and their health. We look at a range of different services and what benefits they would bring to the individuals, as well as the way they want to be cared for. The third unit is health and well-being. Questions to look at with this one are what factors do you need to think about when planning care? Will different things be different and important for different people? Are there different types of support to help someone make their life feel better? Is one type of support better for one person than it is for somebody else? For this one, you are assessed through one exam, which is two hours long, and you sit that in February of year 11. The benefit of sitting the exam in February is that you've got fewer exams to revise for. If this is your only BTEC subject, you will only be doing the health and social care exam in February. And it means that there are one less exams for you to do in the summer as well. This unit covers aspects from all three units. So the first two units that are assessed through coursework, some of that information is also included within the exam. In the exam, students are asked to create a health and wellbeing plan, plan to support an individual. How can we support that specific person into getting better? So what will you achieve after the two years of the BTEC Health and Social Care course? You will have a qualification equivalent to GCSE grade nine to four. As I said, BTEC courses are assessed differently to uh, GCSEs and they are graded differently. You can be graded a distinction star, which is the same as a grade nine, a distinction, same as a grade eight, a merit, same as grade six, or a pass, the same as a grade four at GCSE. Because the BTEC courses are different, you also gain a range of skills. Things like teamwork and communication will come from the assessments that you do. Computer skills, time management and organisation, as well as the research, all comes from the coursework. You will have to work independently and achieve deadlines throughout the two years of the course, which feeds into those time management and organisational skills developing. This course can help you to go into further education, such as sixth forms, colleges or apprenticeships, whichever route you decide to take after your GCSEs. So who's suited for a BTEC course? Because we're different than a GCSE, different students will thrive within a BTEC course. If you have an interest to learn about health and social care, 
obviously this is a perfect one for you. Having a preference for project work over exams is also a, is, is also a benefit. Your project work, your coursework, forms two thirds of your overall grade. Good attendance and a motivation to work independently are a must. You will need to work on your coursework by yourself at points throughout the two years. So having that high level of focus is important. Being positive and enthusiastic towards learning new things. This will be a brand new subject for you. You need to be prepared for that. You also need a reasonable standard of literacy as there's a lot of written work, although this is mostly done on the computers. If you need any more information to help you make your decision about health and social care, there is a copy of the subject leaflet that is available on the school website. If you have a specific question, feel free to email me or when we're back in school, you can always come and find me in the sixth form building in SF4. Thanks, Year 9.